Welcome back, everybody, to Under Fractured Sky. I am here, as always, by... Well, not as always, because obviously we're splitting the team, but I'm here with uh, one half of the entire party, as they have decided to part ways. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get started here in just a moment. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go around and introduce everybody. So let's uh, let's start with uh, let's start with Mega. Mega, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Mega. He, him, his, and I play the character Nova Amprole, the Scarved for Life Fire Genasi Wizard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and Zul, <laughs> go try to follow that one. I can't. Uh, hi, Zul. He, him, and I play. The Avenue de Beauvau, the cockatiel Kenku paladin. Very good. And Dan, I uh, go ahead. Uh, hi, I'm Dan. Pronouns he, him, and I play Jack, the Komodo dragon lizard folk ranger. All right, and let's hear from Bridget. Hi, <clears throat> hi, I'm Bridget. I uh, pronouns she, hers. Um, I play the halfling rogue Holly Mossbeat. Okay, fantastic. And once again, I am Lady D. I am your dungeon master, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. So, uh, without further ado, when last we left this set of heroes, uh, they had just finished slaying a pair of bears that had apparently mauled uh, what was a cultist that they found face down on the ground, bloodied, torn up, um, and the cultist was wearing robes that had inverted symbols of all of the gods of the known pantheon, plus a very mysterious symbol that had set our poor paladin friend, Abne de Belvo, into a bit of a rage slash panic as, uh, as they remembered something very tragic from their childhood associated with that symbol. So we are picking up right there. It is going to be all right, okay? <clears throat> yes, of course, yes. Uh, I can, if you want, I can take care of, uh, he looks down at the, the body. I can take care of this. You, you don't need to be a friend. Please do, thank you. Is there anything else you would like, Jacques? No. Yeah, Abney's just staring daggers at Jacques right now. <laughs> yeah, Jax is kind of going to wander over back to the bears. Yeah, Noah will be burning the body while the others are doing their other things. Okay. All right, so... um. Yeah, you uh, you burn the body, Barty. You burn the body uh, rather um, easily. There we go. That's the word. It's uh, I can't exactly run out the fire. <laughs> so uh, there you are with the uh, the charred remains of uh, well charring remains. They're still on fire of uh this strange strangely dressed human you presume i don't know there's there's a lot of it that's been ripped away um so jack you were doing something with the bears uh yeah he was gonna take the cloak the remains of the cloak he had taken stuff it in his shirt and he's gonna try to get the two arrows out from the bear uh, he had killed the one that did not have its face burned off. Roll uh, D100 for luck. Oh, D100? Mm-hmm. Okay. 52. You get one of them. Okay, that's, that's better than nothing. Uh, the other one broke off inside of it. Okay. Uh, well, the other thing he wanted to do was uh, take his knife and to try the the skin, the pelt. Okay, roll, the... roll survival. Okay. 
ten. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a job. Um, had you gotten to this bear even just like a little bit sooner, you probably would have had a lot easier time. But you you're able to get it off, and it's it's a decent decent pelt. It's just that the bear itself wasn't terribly healthy. try to hold on to that as much as he can. Try to, like, roll it up or something so we can like, carry it with him. Okay. And by the way, just for the viewing public's uh, knowledge, uh, we are located here where the black star, uh, the white star on the black background is. Uh, so they had just left the town of Edgewood before encountering this bear. Um... So, yeah, just so everybody at home knows where they are. Anyway, continue. That's all Jacques was going to do. He was going to be silent, not really say anything to anyone. Okay. So, Avne, what are, what's going through your head? A lot of things. Uh, they're just, they're just going to try not to think about it anymore and just do breathing exercises. Okay that they learned from their clergy okay all right so holly you are noticing the the big bird man just seemingly in distress just trying to focus on focus on their breathing is there anything you'd like to do Hello? Yes, there you are. There I am. Sorry. No, it's plugged in. It's just, it it cuts out. So I've got like a 30 second delay going on here. Oh, Um, weird. So Holly is in a kind of weird position where she's never really had um, real friends and or partners before. So she's kind of shuffling her feet a little bit and trying to make sense out of like, Ermagerd feelings. What do I do? Like she clearly feels bad for Avne and doesn't and doesn't know how to express that. So I can just imagine she would kind of shuffle up to him and kind of tug on his on his armor a little bit and kind of give him this really well meant but awkward as hell smile. <laughs> Avne, there's a there's a halfling smiling up at you, awkwardly. Yes, what might I do for you, ma'am? Uh, just ch- checking in. How you, how you, how, how you holding up? How am I holding up? <laughs> yeah, you seem, seem a little, a little bummed out there. She's kind of like nudging you with her elbow and, and trying her best to be like jovial, which is clearly unnatural for her, so... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, a little would be a bit of an understatement, but I am recovering, yes. I will I will be fine. All right, well, let, let me know if I can, you know, help and, and stuff. Of course. Thank you. Ah, oh, dog in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's playing in the sheets. He's being a dog. Silly boy. <laughs> It's fine. Nox is basically, basically stream doggo now, so no worries. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. All right. So the body is now Ash. Uh, so Nova, anything you'd like to do? Who? Wait, who? Nova. Mega. You there? Oh, sorry. So no, for for some for some reason you said the name and it didn't register in my brain. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that now that uh, uh, if there is any like remaining, like uh, how what is the progress of the body? Uh, it's ashes. Okay, so like he sort of like uh, <laughs> like if he notices like you know any lingering uh, flames, he like presses digitations them away. Okay. Remember, kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Um, and, uh, like, after he takes care of that, he, he returns, 
to uh, to where everyone else is sort of huddled. Well, uh, where should we go from here? Uh, I don't think there's much else to do. Well, I suppose you should ask our living map over there. Ooh. Jack is uh, looking to the group, and he's kind of made, rolled up the bear pelt as best he can, and he's kind of uh, hanging it over his shoulder with the kind of face, um, as much as the head he was able to pelt off, is just kind of hanging by his head. So it might look a little weird. Might be a bit bloody. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's used to it. Yeah. <laughs> still good still good <coughs> oh excuse me oh i suppose uh uh Apne, do you need a rest of some sort those bears were not very nice to you <laughs> I, I should be all right okay just wanted to be sure they'll, they'll nod and, and thanks Okay. All right. Well, it's uh, it's now about I would say three or four p.m. Um, thereabouts. You know, like that late afternoon, starting to get into evening, but not quite. Um, so, where would you like to go next? Well, uh, Jack is gonna suggest either go back to Edgewood for the night or try to make um, start a walk towards the next suspicious activity and just probably find a place to camp. But he's going to leave it up to the group. Hmm. Well, Sounds pretty legit to me. Which way? Uh, how about we put it to a vote? We go back to Edgewood for the night, or we try to go on to the next spot and make camp somewhere near the road. Hmm. Um, I don't mind camping so much. Yes, I'm. I'm used to it. Yes. Suits me fine. And honestly, the smell of that place was starting to... I think they called them allergies. <laughs> I should avoid all the sweets that are there. <laughs> Maybe too much for me. <laughs> I mean, it, it did smell like maple syrup and body odor, so... But that is sweet, it's sweet stuff, though. Yeah. You know how they feel about that. Yeah, yeah, true <laughs> enough. I, there wasn't any chocolate, so I mean. Brat. Oh, now I want chocolate. No chocolate fountains for the for the cocktail. Damn it. Damn it. We did forget to pack the s'mores. <gasps> oh no, party ruined. End game. <laughs> End campaign, we're done. Yeah, TPK. <laughs> you find a lich, that a Draco lich, and it's like, oh, shit. have you brought the s'mores? <laughs> then you shall die. <laughs> I have all the cheese. I ate them. Anyway. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. That's not canon. Anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so where are we dropping, boys? Uh, I guess we'll make camp over by the road. Like, heading towards uh, spot I. Like, as we get to the road, probably find a, a spot that we can camp down. Okay. All right. Uh, roll. Let's see. Let's roll a group survival check. So every, everybody roll survival. Got a 14. 14 as well. Uh, usually because of this. This is a 6. <laughs> I'm not seeing it on my character sheet because apparently I'm a derp. Where is survival? It's at, it's at the bottom. 
Yeah, it's a, it's near all the skills that are next to your oh, stats. Oh, right there. It's like the very last one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Nice roll. Okay. Like, I feel bad because I have efficiency on this, but I'm just not getting great rolls on this one. <laughs> you, you're rather distressed by having to burn a body. Um, now, luckily, I'm, I am going to... I mean, you know, three out of four of you rolled above the DC I had in mind. So, um, so you make it to the roadway um, uninhibited. So, so yeah, you uh, make it to the road... Um, Everybody roll reflex save or dexterity save. Oh no. Dexterity? Yep. Dexterity save. Uh I got a twenty one. Three. That'll be a fourteen for me. Oh. Mm. Avni, uh um... I got worse. What's what's your armor class? Twenty. Oh wow, you are beefy. Um, and Holly, what's yours? What? What's your odd armor class? Armor class, um, fourteen. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so uh, Avni, um. A a kunai like kind of flies and and uh, hits you in the foot. It doesn't doesn't go through your foot, but it does nick your toe a bit. Ow. What's that? Oh, sorry. Uh, intended to miss there. Guess who it is? Oh. I think I know about the voice. <laughs> I believe I do as well. And out of the trees, uh, with the flippiest of flourishes, drops Islington Rising Star. <sighs> the crowd goes mild. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> so yeah, Islington Rising Star, everybody's uh, <laughs> everybody's favorite Blue Jay Rogue. Um, so far, the only Blue Jay Rogue that's being uh, been showcased here. Uh, here's a picture for the, those of you at home. Greetings. <laughs> Salutations. Did we not leave before you? You know, you did. But uh, if you recall, you're not supposed to be on this road. Oh, this is the road that, uh, that Blunt is traveling? Yeah, but that's... Wait, wait. Why is it only for you? We split oh, up. We sp yes. Oh, bugger. He rubs the back of his head. Is that an issue? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's certainly more challenging. I'll give you that one. Uh, well, challenging how? Uh, good. You guys don't know anything that's going on in the woods, do you? No shit. I'm sorry, what was that? No shit. You, most of all, should know what's going on in the woods. Well, I mean, I killed a bear. Exactly. There's, uh, there's animals out there going and going wild after human flesh, or not even, you know, human, of course, but, you know, it's a tenor phrase, you know? Human talk. Mortal flesh. Well, they're mortal too. Shit. That they're going after people. There we go. Done. They're going after people. Oh yes, we we helped the baker from before. Indeed. Oh, that's neat. Did he give you anything? He got pie. Indeed. Pie Very taste. good. Oh wow. It's been a while since I had a good pie. <laughs> well, you know, the one variety anyway. Uh, I'm sorry? Don't worry about the Nova. It's nothing. Well then. Um, hand, yes. So anyway, what are you doing on the on the red road? Well, we were going to pass through and... Well, make camp and then pass through into the next objective. 
Oh, all right. So you weren't you weren't actually following the path of the road then. More like crossing it, but yeah. All right, because uh, been traveling off the beaten path, so to speak. Right. You know, I've I've been been watching you. He kind of looks a little sheepish at that. Squints. <laughs> it's uh, my job to to watch you to make sure make sure you're doing things right. Mm-hmm. Well, it you is nice to know that someone is looking out for us. Yeah. I suppose. You say as, you know, there's just like this little bit of blood coming from Avne's foot. Not going to not gonna give you damage on that one because, like, it literally is a shaving cut. <laughs> but it still smarts. Yes. Nice shot, by the way. But like I said, I intended to miss, so it wasn't that nice. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Anyway, shall we move on? I mean, I would hope so, mm-hmm. but um, just want to hear about your progress. Call it a call a progress report. Well, like go on now, huh? You tell him. Well, uh, like I said, we helped the baker. He was being attacked by a lot of wolves. Uh, Blimey. Then, and then, uh, as Jacques said, we also defeated some bears that had, uh, that had, I don't know whether I should say unfortunately or not, but a man was killed. Uh, that's but, pretty unfortunate, usually. Uh, Jack actually takes out the like, remains of the cloak and holds it up to Islington. Avni immediately looks away. Um, Islington's eyes go wide. You should burn that right now. That's what I told you. Heard them. I thought it might come in handy for something. It's not gonna come in handy. It's gonna come in make you dead. Okay, uh, Nova, would you burn it? <laughs> Just drop is it. it the, is it a cursed object? Burn it. Yes. Burn it now. Okay pulls up the produced flame and kind of drops it onto the cloak. <laughs> Avenue will visibly relax. It burns. Almost a little too well. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it is gone. Oh, okay. By the way, there was uh, one other thing. Uh, between the wolves and the bears, we came across a campsite. So we did not Followed the tracks. Go on. There were, there were tracks leading. Uh, geez, I almost went. Switched accents there. There were tracks leading east. Towards, uh, well, let's say more north of here now. Bandits, we presume. Yeah. I opted to go east, but uh, everyone else voted south. And then we went to Edgewood. What was uh, what was they at the camp? What was what did you find? Rocks, the campfire, but uh, they had not been there for a while. Hmm. The All baker right. had talked about worrying about the bandits, so I could tell that there were four humanoids there. I'm not sure if human or something else. Right, right. <laughs> well, where were you heading next? Hopefully somewhere with Pi. <laughs> Agreed. Well, we were uh, going to the next spot to check out. Well, perhaps in the morning. We, were, As we said, we wanted to make camp and try to get some sleep. All right, well, uh, I can understand why we make Maybe not another rut itself. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we can always prop up the bear, and like if predators want to try to hunt us, then, oh, look, a bear, uh, and they run. Well, that would be ill-advised, and that's not really I how things work. I don't believe they would be that foolish. Look, you, you know, don't don't go camping out in the woods. Find a place to shelter down. Make sure it's secure. Make sure it's safe. How long have you been okay. carrying that cloak with you? Look, how long has it been since we left the bears? I would say... Let me... 
let me measure the thing between the point and the road. Uh, it's been about an hour. Yeah, it's only been about an hour. All right. All right. All right. We'll just stay off the beaten path. Or not off the beaten path. Stay on every beaten path but this one. And, you know, don't, don't go camping where you shouldn't be. All right? Course. Now I understand. Thank you for the advice. I will keep a watchful eye on them. <laughs> and you, especially, he points at Nova. Hmm? You be uh you'll be safe too. Keep a weather oh, eye uh, out. Of course. <laughs> and then, then he full Naruto runs uh to the to the <laughs> west. <laughs> Back, back towards Edgewood. I want to weave it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he I is. I had to. <laughs> Look, he carries around a bunch of kunai. He's, he's based. You know what Kenku are based off of? There, it's or maybe you yeah. don't. I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're for those they who don't know. Leave the kunai behind. <laughs> uh, yes. You get the feeling that he has lots of them. Nobody's going to pick up that kunai. <laughs> you now have a kunai in your inventory. This is cool. There's actually like four of them <laughs> that are, that were on the oh. ground. Mm. And just for flavor, I'm gonna bow. I'm gonna like kneel down, cast kneel, uh, cast lay on hands on myself to heal the cut. Doesn't that require you spend a hit die, or am I misremembering? Nope, I have a pool. No, he he gets yeah, he gets a health pool. Oh, yeah. you didn't lose any health though. That's the thing. So. Yeah, I know. They're just doing it for flavor. Okay, well, well whatever. Did, well, did you still lose health from the encounter? You could always do that, I think. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, when not, I'll do that. I'll do it for five. Okay, so. I'm back up to full. There you go. <laughs> All right, now what? Let's hear me whisper it. Make your sanity And then they'll be done. Yay. I guess we move on. Well, here's the thing. You don't want to go on this road here, but uh, we stay on this road to stay a night somewhere safe. We'd have to be a town on this road. Or we go back up north, or go... Walking through the night. I believe we should make as much progress as we can before we pay make camp. No in favor of checking in the next spot? I. I as well. If we need to spend the if we need to spend the night, I have some protective magic to help us. Then we, and we can take turns keeping watch. Holly <laughs> nods. Oh, <laughs> shit. Honk, honk. Oscar. <laughs> yes, yes, I love you too, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> and off we go to spot I. Yahoo. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to draw on the map here but it's not actually showing me a thing so um okay so spot i then um roll another survival check everybody we'll do ah oh, damn uh 10 11 <laughs> oh <laughs> uh finally a good one 18 Well, Hobbit's dead. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, now, this time, the majority did not beat the uh, 
DC I had in mind here. So this takes you. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm so gross. Ugh. This takes you uh, about two and a half, three hours. Um, the cutting directly across country like this um, is not as easy as it has been. It's very, uh, very twiggy, very rough terrain, very um, like a lot of soft earth and, and like. Um, it's not like thick forest, but you know, there is for. There is, you know, like, trees around. Um, huh. So, if you're going to point I, it takes you about three and a half hours to get there from where you were on the roadway. Fun. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick note. And I'm trying to, like, do DM stuff from, like, the other window, so... Bear with me. Calm the H on with this shit. Yes, I did sense self censor hell, but not shit. Because <laughs> I'm like that. Okay. So, you find yourselves living in a shotgun shack. <laughs> and you may find yourselves. <laughs> So, uh, you find a, uh, you kind of drawn by the smell of campfire towards, uh, this, you know, small clearing in the midst of a, of a, of a thicket. Um, and they're like, just kind of peering through the bushes. Um, you see that there are four men, uh, all human, just gathered around campfire eating beans. Uh, think, uh, think Blazing Saddles, if if you know the scene I'm thinking of. Um, so yeah, they're just eating beans. They're just chatting at each other while the sun is going down. Um, what do you do? Do they appear to be friendly or not? Roll insight. Oh goody! All right. Or not insight, perception. Sorry. Uh, all right. Good thing I did it before I rolled. Fifteen. Right. Okay. All right. So these men are dressed uh, mostly in leathers. Um, a lot of a lot of brigandine, a lot of you know leather armor. Um, you know, kind of like rough hewn uh, looks about them, and about their armor and. You know, they all appear to be armed. So, now whether or not they're friendly, roll insight. Now roll insight, rather. Will do. Nine. You, and then that 20. Yeah, and on the other side, though. Yeah, you don't know. Mm. You have no idea. And I'm drawing all over the map here. Crap. There we go. I'll do, oh. I'll relay that information to the party. Hmm. Maybe one of us should try to see if they are friendly more up close? Possibly. The, perhaps the most charismatic and least threatening looking of us should approach them. <laughs> and, uh... What if things were to go wrong? Then we will resort to desperate measures if we need to. Even though diplo diplomacy is necessary. Hmm. Well, if, if the first wave of diplomacy don't work, I could always offer them the bear, the bear pelt, and maybe Indeed. they'll let us know. Indeed. If, if it resort, resorts to that, then yes. However, do not provoke attack unless they attack you first. Okay, so, so who would be the least suspicious? <laughs> Looks at the rest of us. Um. Hmm. I'm wondering if that's not me. 
where I have <laughs> where I'm naturally stealthy, but I don't know if I want to be like stealthy in this situation or. I mean, we could do both. I say one of us maybe can approach, and maybe and maybe the others hide. Perhaps that is the best idea. Okay, so that is the question of who will approach. Holly just takes off into the clearing. I guess the decision is made for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jack is gonna try to move. Uh, I can't grab my token. Oh God damn it! Did it again. Hang on. I was having this issue with with the other team the other night. Uh, let me make sure everybody has oh, permission. No, I can I can grab it now. Yeah, that's because I just set the permission. Alrighty. I don't. Hang on, because for everybody else, hold on. Um, sh and. It's weird that Holly was able to move hers just fine, though. Um, where's Abby? There. Because she's special. <laughs> and Holly... Just want to make sure it's set properly, even though she does have the ability to move it. There. Okay. So Holly has moved her way into the clearing, and these uh, these men are all just uh, yakking at each other. Um, it's not quite dark yet, but you know it's kind of shadowy, and you know they don't really see past the light of the fire that well at you yet, so they haven't noticed you yet. All right. Is Holly approaching or sneaking? Um, I was thinking, <laughs> I didn't think it through too much. I was thinking that she would just approach them, um, where she's got, um, some cards in her inventory. Um, I was thinking I might use a little bit of sleight of hand to maybe see if I can entertain them a little bit, approach them and see if any of them are, are gambling men or. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, continue your approach. All right, so Holly kind of steps out from around the tent towards the fire, like not close enough to be seen, but not close enough to to like look like she's jumping somebody um, and says something to the tune of, hey there, hi there, ho there. <laughs> How are you lovely gentlemen this evening? Oh, uh, hi, how's it going? And this, uh, this is the blue one talking. Um. Oh, <laughs> halfling. We don't we don't see many halflings around these parts, do we? Green one. Um, well, you know. Yeah. We're out of most people's line of sight, so we don't get seen that often. But it's nice to be seen. What are you guys up to this lovely evening? Oh, uh, you know, just uh, just eating. You know, just uh, had a pot of beans, and uh, you know, we're about to call it a night. I uh, made a um, made a pretty good hole earlier, so uh, yeah, yeah. Roll insight on um, them, Holly. Roll insight? Okay. Ooh, nice. nice. <laughs> so, based on what these gentlemen look like and, um, you know, they're, where the blue one was just like saying, and he's not actually blue, I'm just saying this for targeting sake. Um, <laughs> based on the way that he was talking, these are probably highwaymen, but, you know, you don't, you don't get the sense that they're killers, so who knows? All right, so, um... Where Holly has been kind of, uh, or she's a rogue herself, she's kind of used to these kind of characters and isn't terribly intimidated by them yet. Um, so she just kind of continues the charming smile route and uh, and uh, 
seems genuinely interested in this this hall that they were talking about. So she's gonna kind of pull out her deck of cards and and shuffle them kind of in midair and uh, ask. Well, that sounds that sounds pretty interesting. Do you guys like to regale me with some of your campfire stories and a game of cards? Oh yeah. Or a game of cards? Oh, that'd be that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Here, here let me introduce this. Um, my name's Blueford. Uh, that's uh, that's Greenleaf. Uh, <laughs> that one over there is Orin. And the uh, the sour looking bloke on the on the far end there that's Pinkerton. Don't mind him. He's just got an attitude. Um, man after my own heart. So then Holly. Uh, Deals some cards out and uh, and gosh, um, what's the rest of the party doing at this point? <laughs> yeah, what is the rest of the party doing at this point? So uh, let's let's go with Shaq. Uh, Shaq, roll perception. Perception. Fifteen. Yeah. So uh, Holly just approached these these folks and had a little bit of a conversation. Uh, they are all going to gather over at the table, and they're gonna they're gonna play a game of cards um, with Holly. So they're they're having they're having a good time though. They're not they're actually roll insight roll insight insight okay eight you you. <laughs> You figure that Holly's old friends with these guys, um, so they're just like you know laughing. They're you know playing a game of cards, um, and I don't recall from the rule book how exactly cards work. So um, we're just gonna pretend they're just playing. We're not gonna be like going for any hard wagers just yet. Uh, Jack, right now, would be putting down his bear pelt and his bucket kind of like gesturing <laughs> to Alvina and Nova I'm leaving these here I'm going through the trees to like sneak and he's also whispering it to them uh, and he's gonna try to go see up as far as he can that would be an Probably. obstructed space this this spot here is probably the only one that you could really pass through. Yes, sir. Yeah, so he'd... Unless you were like crawling, but unless I was what? Unless you were crawling, but we're not gonna oh. go into that mechanic. Yeah, he's gonna just try to sneak his way, probably move over towards the tent. Roll a perception check again. You damn near stepped on some caltrops. I'd miss that. Stepped on a what? Caltrop. Cal yeah. Oh. It's like it's like a Lego, but worse. Ooh. <laughs> uh. And I and I'd see the caltrop, right? Just barely. Just barely. I'm actually gonna go back to the group and be like, uh. They have said uh, it looks like traps here, uh, little cat traps. Just be careful of where you walk if you walk through the trees. A little nod. Uh, well, at least they're cautious. And then he'd probably just walk back over to try to sneak after relaying the information. Okay, roll stealth. Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> <laughs> Oh. That's, that's my that's my highest skill too. Yeah. Oh no, oh, that hurts. <laughs> so you step on the caltrop on the caltrop <laughs> that you just warned the others about, and you basically <laughs> yell out in pain, and you take one damage, okay. piercing. Immediately, all the uh, all the bands like, "What the hell?" Oh dear. Who goes uh, there? Can I? 
Can I, uh, is there any way I can save the situation by rolling deception? Um, well, right now, uh, Blueford is, um, kind of positioning himself in front of you and he has like, he has like an arm, uh, held out and he's got his, uh, short sword out in front of him. So he is kind of protecting you. It's kind of, kind of, kind of sweet in an odd way. Okay. I'll see how it plays out then. (laughs) See how it plays out. Okay. Uh, Nova, what are you doing? Uh, realizing that uh like like after that just happened uh he actually looks to see if like there's any place that where jacques not is not if there is a possible place to hide himself (laughs) because he will definitely draw attention (laughs) um happen to look in okay if you're looking for a place uh roll survival Give it some cheese. It'll come out eventually. Uh, 11? Okay, if you think you found a spot, maybe like right here. Uh, roll stealth. Okay. Nice. Ooh. That's a 22. You Homer Simpson in the shrub. <laughs> <laughs> You never saw me. <laughs> you never see uh, it coming. Okay, good. You didn't see anything. <laughs> okay. All right, Avni, what are you doing? Ash. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Avni's not one to hide, so they're probably just gonna s- probably slowly try to approach as best they can. Well, it's both like walking casually. Okay. Yeah. Blueford turns towards you, and he like holds out his knife. Who are you? Please, please, just with hands up, like just up, no harm. I don't mean you any harm. Everything's fine. At this point, Holly speaks up and says, "Oh no, no, I can, I can vouch. They're 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 cool. It's all good." Uh, the Blueford is, is a little bit suspicious judging by how, uh, how regal and paladin-like, uh, this Kenku is dressed as. But, um, you know, roll persuasion, roll persuasion. Uh, Oh, okay. Not you, um, Holly. Me? Yes. And take advantage because you've befriended these guys. Oh, you needed it. Oh, you needed oh, it. <laughs> you needed it. <laughs> well, all right. If uh, Polly says you're cool, I guess you're cool. And he and everybody like puts away their knives, but he's still kind of like standing there, like commandingly. This man's about six uh, foot two. He's uh. He's a younger sort of man. He's like, you know, 22, 23. Uh, very regularly built. Um, not your typical... He's not like... He's not brutish rugged. He's just kind of like farm boy rugged, if that makes sense. Yeah. He's got blonde hair, blue eyes. He's actually kind of kind of, uh, kind of, of a handsome gent, but... You know, it depends on what you're into. <laughs> If you're into anything, you don't have to be. So at this point, Holly's probably just motions to Avne and and says, "Hey, it's about time you caught up with me. Come on over. I'll deal you in." These guys were just trouncing me at cards. I mean, he just looks very confused at first, but then like, "Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course." I would be delighted to join you. Okay. Well, then, you know, just, uh... Yeah, 
make my way over. Sadly, we don't have any beans to share anymore, but uh, <laughs> it's probably for the best, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes, the beans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. By the way, we had, we had a noise over there earlier. Did you uh, you step on uh, step on the traps that got set out? I uh, believe an associate of mine did. Oh, well, there's more of you. They mean no harm. They're with us. Uh, that being said, you know, I just, uh, I, look, we, we, there's, there's just been like, you know, like rough people, like, you know, about out and about now. I'm dropping the accent because I keep forgetting what the fuck accent I give him. <clears throat> there's, uh, you know, there's rough people out there, you know, this time of night. Um, oh, of course. Where, where are they at? Because we don't, we don't want to get robbed or nothing. I'm just gonna look back at the at where the two would be. It's all right. You can come out now. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> you hit him being talked to. He thinks it's Nova, so he's not gonna announce himself. But he is very quietly in a Joe Pesci way. Pressure, pressure, Russia, pressure, Russia about his foot. <laughs> Holly's just like face palming so hard. <laughs> Holly, your friends don't exactly seem like the trustworthy type. They are, trust me. Would I lie to you? They're trustworthy Very enough. Trustworthy. They're just the <laughs> skulk around in the bushes type. Get over here. <laughs> Am I the type to lie to you? Uh, paladin armor. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you're not even really the type to come sit with us, so... It's kind of a night of strange things. Well, if it makes, makes you new acquaintances, it's a new adventure, and I'm proud to go on that adventure. Smile. See, I'm wearing, I'm wearing off on him already. Holly gives Avne, like, a, a awkward, like, friendly nudge with her elbow. Which should have been like in his ribs, but it actually only reaches about hip height. And also clanks <laughs> against his armor. Clank, clank. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Of course, yes. So, Nova and Jack, now what? Uh, I think both to maybe like save face for both, uh, for both Jack and um, Avne, because he realized it would be more, it would probably antagonize them if they did not react. So he does come out of his hiding place um, and like, you know, makes makes his appearance known. Oh, I'm so very sorry. It's that, uh, it's, uh, I was looking, I was looking around in the, uh, in the wooded area and I accidentally hurt myself. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh... You need uh need like treatment or like a like a I mean like we ain't got much, we got booze though. <laughs> Ding dong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was, was, that was where? My, I bet that was my front door. <laughs> it's a oh no, I should be fine. I I wear very thick clothing. It uh, it hurts but it did not hurt me. <laughs> if if that makes any sense? Yeah, okay. <laughs> he kind of he's a, he gives a quizzical look, but he's not he's not plus, he's not um you know, he's not too hung up on it. There we go. That's the word. Blueford uh gives Pinkerton a nudge. Pinkerton, make make some room here. <laughs> rattle rattle. Rada, rada, rada. <laughs> Yeet right across Avenue. Uh, you are all very colorful people. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I, I don't follow. <laughs> well, you see, and then, uh, oh. Like, you know, that is not one of my better jokes. Hold on. And he... <laughs> okay. 
Oh, no. And he starts reaching into his Oh, no, his the pack notebook. And pulls out a joke book. <laughs> this has my smiles. better jokes. Okay. And just smiles. If you're going to <laughs> say a joke, you got to roll performance. It's depending on how good the oh, joke dear. is. I'm going to give you advantage because you're using a joke book. I shouldn't. <laughs> Oh, you needed oh, it. No. No. <laughs> you needed that advantage. <laughs> oh, that's right. Advantage. I was, oh, yeah. Everybody laughs. They're like, ah. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> Tell the joke. Uh, crap. I should have remembered to prepare one in just in case. Uh, uh, Don't bust out joke books if you're not going to tell a joke. <laughs> Damn it, Mega. Um, uh,. It's uh It's like knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Oh no. I don't know what this is going. Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> At first there's silence and you can hear the crickets chirping. But then Orin um, starts, s starts snickering because he gets it. And then everybody else starts laughing. <laughs> they haven't heard that one before. You lucked out. Is that his eyes are beaming. <laughs> Is this friendship? Insert the the anime <laughs> butterfly meme. <laughs> NPCs laughing at joke. Is this friendship? I kind of want to draw that now, but I uh, got so much on my plate <laughs> lately. Okay, so Shaq, are you still lingering in the bushes like a uh, weird? Yeah, he's, he's going to be heading over towards the net. Like somewhere over here. You mean tent? Like yeah, yeah, tent. Whatever. He's like sneaking, and he's gonna want to try to look inside. If you're gonna sneak, roll stealth again. This take on, <laughs> take disadvantage because they already know that somebody else is out there. Uh, Eleven. God damn it! Disadvantage. You lucky shit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, no. They are too distracted by Orin just busting up at this joke, and they're all, like, snickering awkwardly. Oh, goody. Jack, he's going to look inside the tent. And I just realized, and I do apologize, everybody at home, that I was, like, looking at the upper corner of this map the whole fucking time. I am so sorry. Um... Yeah, because like I, I have things captured in a different window than the one I'm actually viewing and DMing from, so you don't see all my DM tricks. So um, apologies there. Um, just to refresh, the four bandits were sitting on these, or highwaymen rather, were sitting on these four stools around the campfire eating beans. Bandits. Highwaymen, bandits, it's a similar thing, just a little different. So yeah, that's sorry. So Jack, you're you're sneaking. Yeah, sneaking over to the tent, and he wants to look inside and see if there's anything inside that would mark these people as dangerous or not. Okay, roll. Um, I'm gonna say roll investigation. Fourteen. Okay, so inside this tent, um, you're kind of hit with like the the smell of dirty socks. Oh. Um, <laughs> just normal camping gear in here. Oh boy, camping gear, huh? Oh yep. great, that means. Uh, well, he's gonna try, and it's still kind of dark, right? It's it's twilight, so it's um. It's a little bit dark. All right, he's 
gonna try to move around the perimeter without totally going in the bushes. Okay. Roll stealth again. Okay. Stealth. Uh, ten? Keep going over here. So it's at that point you snap a twig and Blueford just turns his head towards you. Whoa. Uh, holy. Uh, oh, is this another friend of yours? He says, pointing over at Shaq. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, dude, where have you been? Come on over. Why are you skulking around in the bushes like a total weirdo? Yeah, why are you skulking around the bushes like a total weirdo? He's looking suspicious. Jack looks over at Blueford and he's like, During my little trip here, making my way to Everhold, I've been attacked by wolves, by bears, and knowing that uh, as a hunter, I know that these hours... Those kinds of animals like to make a move on these kind of sites. So I'm checking the perimeter, make sure nothing's trying to sneak in. Ooh, well done. Persuasion with advantage, please. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, can I can I, can I use my <laughs> I'm tempted to use my DM inspiration. You know, I forgot you even had it still. I keep forgetting I have it. I I remembered after my Nat one stealth roll. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I'm going to say that after this session, um, everybody... Uh, hang on, my brain just decided to reset. Any any DM inspiration I've given out at, like, is, is gone um, and starting fresh, so... Okay, I'm going to use it then. Okay, go ahead. Okay, persuasion. Okay. Roll with advantage. That's oh my god. Marginally better. <laughs> <laughs> marginally better. Oh. So. Oh, man. Blueford kind of narrows his eyes at you, like looks at you a little suspiciously. But he mulls it over. And then he nods sagely. He's like, mm, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we laid out, uh, we laid out some, uh, some caltrops earlier and uh you know we got a couple of uh a couple of uh jingling cam traps over that way you know we're, we we got a, we got a perimeter set but you know hey thanks for uh thanks for checking it out you pass that by the skin of your fucking teeth you lucky shit oh wait hold on what if what i have failed on that nine yes oh, oh jesus because <laughs> he got a 10 Oh, and he got another oh. 10 when I re-rolled it. Wow. Thank you, inspiration, for getting me out of that. You saved it, saved your ass. Okay. God opens up the clouds. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, you know, why don't you, uh, you know, join us here at the table? You know, we're just playing a little cards here. You know, just yeah. shooting the shit. I've never played cards before. Oh. Shooting the shit. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a turn of phrase. Oh. Very strange phrase. Indeed. I mean, why would I want to shoot shit? I mean... Target practice? That's a... Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, target practice. I mean, if you got poop and you don't want to, like, ruin anything else, sure. And once again, we Do turn to the scatological. Yes. So y'all are playing cards. Um, everybody give me a D100 luck roll. Oh, fun. All right. Okay, in the in the left hand corner, um, there's like a little D twenty icon. 
if you hover over it. Oh, wait, I found it, I think. Yeah. Uh, 28. Okay. And Holly, do you need help finding it? Uh. You cut out. Ah. I know you guys cut out too, so I wasn't sure what I'm not quite sure what we were rolling for. <laughs> Poker. Oh no. Um okay, so over back where you where you came across that menu, if um you go down to where it says advanced dice roller. Oh yep. Yeah. You click on that. Um and where it says advanced roll, you use the drop down and you select D one hundred. Ah, I see. Okay, this is new. Yes, it's very handy. Yay! All right. All right, now let me roll for the bandits. Or the highwaymen. Excuse me. <laughs> 26. I shouldn't tell you their rolls. Ooh! Oh, no. So, Holly wins one hand, Pinkerton wins two, Blueford wins one hand, and so does Oren. And Damn. this was all just for bragging rights. Nobody wanted to, uh, nobody wanted to really put any money in on this. So, uh, and this is Blueford talking. So, uh, what brings you guys, uh, you know, up this way? Oh, we are going to Aberhold for the games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going there, too. Uh, I mean, we're not going to, like, you know, see the, you know, the actual proper games, you know. We're, uh, <laughs> we got to, we got to, we got passes to go see the under games. The under games. Ew. Okay, everybody roll knowledge history with disadvantage, except for Holly. Holly, you roll with advantage. What are we rolling? Uh, history. history. Oh, God. Whew. <laughs> so, 12. God damn. Uh, I got 15. On a disadvantage, 18. <laughs> <clears throat> what? Okay, hell? Holly, I'm going to say that you just weren't listening. Um... Abney, so what you know about uh, briefly hanging out with us, Nar, is the under games are, like, not officially sanctioned by the city of Averholt, but they draw, you know, a significant number of tourists on their own. Uh, it tends to be a competition of uh, various sorts, including, a, uh, including pit fighting, um, but also various drinking games, and it's like beer fest plus MMA. That's basically what it is. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, I'm I'm sure you know an upstanding uh, upstanding gentleman like yourself, um, gentleman. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, I I just don't want to assume these days. You know, you want to make sure that. Everybody's got room, you know? All right. All right, yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you know, like, I'm sure, you know, more respectable folk, you know, they want to be at the at the big games, you know, where everything's all nice and clean and out in the open. But, you know, like, ah, you know, the under games are just so much more fun, you know? I see do you know? Do you know Hack Hackersley? He points. He points to. Uh, points to Shack. Do you know who he is? Name doesn't bring. Uh, name don't bring a bell. Roll history. Roll history. Okay. Sixteen. Maybe it does bring a bell. That's Oznar's master. He he was saying hack all the time. No, I think I know a little bit about him. 
in the ways that I know of the one who would taught by him. Really? He's not here. He's uh, down south. Ah. But yes. Some uh, no. Oh, the big dude with the pompadour, the crazy hair? Yeah, that the one. Oh! Short temper, impulsive, an idiot who runs into danger, you know. <laughs> oh, that's all of us after a few pints anyway, but... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I remember seeing him around, because... Um, like I, I, I used to watch Hack Hackersley all the time, you know, whenever he passed through uh whenever he passed through Bayfair, you know, when I was little. <laughs> and uh you know, also more recently too, because, you know, I saw the Knoll guy. I saw his last match. Uh oh, where was that? Where was that? Pinkerton, where was that? Uh, sharp sword. Sharp sword, you know, like up north. Yeah. Saw his last match. Um and apparently you know, he won, he beat the guy to a pulp, but I guess he, I guess he passed out, and then he just like died like a couple of weeks later. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it was because he was. Ah, oh, jeez, you should have seen him in the ring in the pits. He was, he was something to watch. You know, like I, I've seen, I've seen lots of people, you know, just fight, but I ain't never seen anybody just fight like that. You know. Only imagine. Yeah. <sighs> Do you think uh, that student of his, that Noah de Pompadour, you think he's tough? I mean, he, he looked it. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't exactly tangle with Knowles, you know. And Pinkerton chimes in, yeah, you know, a bunch of biters, you know. They're, uh, but. The, the real biters are the gators from Akiris. He kind of gives a little chuckle. <laughs> Everybody just kind of like looks at the other, the other three highwaymen just look at each other, just kind of like confused, and then they chuckle along politely. What What do you know about Akiras? The dish, the food is. Uh, what I know of Akiras is that they like to claim that they have the best crowd that's around. But it's a bunch of shit. Unseasoned mud bug is what it is. Ooh. You want some real crawdads? You go to Green Ember. The best crawdads around. I oh, can't say I've uh, ever been down that far. Kind of, you know, stuck to stuck to Solent here myself. Well, if I ever see you down there, perhaps I'll cook you up some good old gumbo or uh, some other fun meals. Hmm. All right, sure, sure. So, uh, Avne, he kind of, Shaq just kind of, uh, shit talked to Kyrus. Do you want to? What are you feeling? Conflicted. <laughs> I want you to be aware that you are make, you are making fun of my birth home. I'm making fun of making fun of your birth home. I'm making fun of the gators from the birth home who don't know what a real crawdad look like. Well, I wouldn't know since I was only merely born there. Well then, if hmm. I'm going to think of. Oh, I might introduce you to the crawdads of Green Ember and show you the mud bugs from Akiris. Yeah. Something for the future. I suppose so. Have I, uh, D, have I been to Green Ember before? Um. <clears throat> let me think. I, I wouldn't say your travels really brought you south much. Um, when you were traveling... Um, as a child, um, you know, after after the incident, um, you kind of stuck to the more northerly lands. Like, you kind of, you know, you did all of Atelier, you did all of uh, Soland, you did all of, um, 
Wow, I'm already forgetting the Gnomish Kingdom name. Shit. My own kingdom. The Dwarven Kingdoms. Uh, nobody's ever done the Elven Kingdoms because they're very xenophobic. They don't like, you know, people making, you know, making port at their places. Um, but yeah, no, you, you've never been to Green Ember. Gotcha. A little bit to Sirkaj, but not that far. Gotcha. Well, I've never been to Green Ember, so that's be a fun time when we get there. Mm-hmm. Jack doesn't really say much after that. Hmm. Nova, um, do you have anything you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to say or do? It's, uh, do you are you out from around here? I mean, you know, we all kind of. Uh, I think we're all from around Solon, so I mean, yeah, kind of. It's, uh, have you have you seen anything interesting while you have been uh, been traveling? Well, uh, there was this one time Pinkerton woke up next to a cow, <laughs> and they all laugh at each other, except for Pinkerton who's grumping. On which end? <laughs> <laughs> they all they all have a hearty laugh, and even Pinkerton cracks a grin, but only for a split second. It's a uh, oh good because uh, we've heard a lot of weird rumors about uh, about the uh, all sorts of trouble in this area, and uh, we were hoping that if you had any advice on what places to avoid. I mean, you know, the fact that you're even like out here amongst us—that's kind of uh, kind of ballsy. But I guess if you're traveling with Holly over here, you know, I guess y'all are pretty safe. Yeah. Holly winks. <laughs> yeah, Blueford well, Blueford thinks that Holly is like the one protecting all of your dumb country bumpkin asses. I would, I would never go back on my decree. Come again. Hand, <laughs> just hand on the holy symbol. Oh, okay. He has no idea what the hell you're talking about. He's just going along with it. I I'm a paladin, sir. Uh, yeah, I knew that much. Um, you you got you got to understand. I'm not really that religious, and no, it's quite all right. I'm not either. It's okay. <laughs> Heathens, all of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you know, it's it's very good that we uh, that there's no other trouble that we should be aware of. I mean, you know, just don't. You're you're, you know, people like you should probably just you know mostly stick to town. But you know, it, yeah. I mean, the nearest nearest town is kind of far away. You're already here. Uh, you guys can stay here for the night if you need to. I mean, we can't really, you know, share a whole lot of provisions or anything. But um. You know, we got a we got a latrine dug about you know six, sixty yards that way. He points out towards the west. Um, that would explain the smell that you smelled earlier, but <laughs> we didn't play that out. Um, yeah, just watch your feet around the uh, the cow drops, and you'll be fine. Um, we don't have any bed rolls or extra tents or anything though. Sorry, I believe we all have our own. All right. Okay. Uh, but it is very generous of you to to allow us to stay. Yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you guys seem okay. You know, you're not going to, like... You know, we, we've been doing this for a while. You guys don't seem like you're going to gut us and, you know, take our stuff and... Uh, Evan Samarelli, no. Yeah, exactly. Um, you're not going to... I hope not turn us in. Narrows his eyes at Avni. Excuse me? Well, I mean, you know, Paladin, you know, you said it yourself, kind of a law and order type. You, we don't want, uh, we don't want any trouble, you know. Right. Oh, no, Avni's not a narc. He's cool. 
<laughs> is he though? Tiny, t- tiny hobbit elbows into into the bird's hip again. Clank, clank. Clank, clank. Y- yes. Clank, clank, clank with the Avni. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am cool. <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't. No, don't. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that was a, that was a jape. That was a jape. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. It's like it's like it's do or die. Uh, can Jack do something real quick? What do you want to do? He's gonna get away from the table. Like he's gonna, uh, I'll be on his back. He's gonna go from the table, go back to his bucket, and the bear pelt. And then bring them back over to the table. Oh. And uh, out of the bucket, he takes out uh, his three days of rations and gives it to um, Blue, Blueford. Oh. So I can, uh, hey, man, I mean. It's my way of saying thanks. And, uh, well, um, I can find my way around the woods and I can hunt, I can forage. My way of saying thanks to you that I'll let you stay at the night. Yeah. Oh. So you don't have to be eating beans all the time. <laughs> yeah, but we like beans, though. <laughs> you eat it all, you'll never have beans. Yeah. You ration the beans. Ration the beans, okay. We can ration the beans. Words to live by. And he's gonna. He's not gonna put the bear pelt on the table. He's leave it next to it, like between him and Nova, because he's not going to get blood over the table. And, uh, he's just kind of kind of pat its head. Like, um, what did you think of this pelt? Oh, you could get something off it? I mean, you know, it's not something that we usually trade in, but, um, let me think. He looks over to Pinkerton, and they have, like, kind of like a mumbly conversation with each other. Uh, give you a couple of gold for it. A couple of what? Gold. A couple of gold. How about instead of the gold, perhaps you could put a word in for me at the uh, the end of the game. He gives a little smirk. I I mean I'd like to, but I'm <laughs> not really that well connected with them. Uh, I I just, I'm just a spectator. I'm just a fan. I mostly stick to the woods myself. <laughs> how do people find How do people find out about the games? <laughs> I mean, they're kind of an open secret. You know, you just gotta you gotta just know where to go and who to ask and boom you're there and perhaps you could be the one to tell me where to go and to ask i mean oh, snap what's that oh i was just i thought that was clever so i was like oh snap <laughs> uh-huh. aha <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, there's a bunch of bars in, like, the dockside areas of Averhold. Um, you know, there's a low ditch. That's kind of, like, where, you know, like, all the all the lowlies kind of hang out, you know? And I, the Bluford's turning into Rengis now. <clears throat> <laughs> and I'm getting all gummed up. Ugh. I mean, they'd probably know where to point you if, like, the games weren't taking place in one of those places, you know? Jack is appreciative of the information, though he looks at the bear pelt and he looks at the blue for like, did you want the blue uh, the bear pelt for this exchange? I'm sorry, what? Uh, did you want the bear pelt in exchange for the information? Did, as general knowledge as it is? I mean, 
I'd feel like I'm I feel like I'm robbing you. <laughs> uh, but I mean, if you want to, if you want, I mean, I'm sure we could, you know, sell to somebody who could use it. How about this? I'll get, he's gonna take the the bit of rations he'd taken from the cultist and put it like with the other three uh, three rations. If I can, uh, bring these pelts to someone, get a good trade out of it, would it be coin or some other item? I'll try to find you in the, uh, the under games or in Eivor somewhere and give you those better items instead. That way you're not dragging around a bloody bear pelt. Okay, um... You? Okay, above game, um, just relay what you were proposing, because... Um, oh, sorry. Uh, he's proposing that uh, he could take the bear pelt, like, he gives the extra ration, and he takes the bear pelt and will probably trade it for either coin, probably more coin than Luford could give, or uh, some item, uh, or like a weapon or something. And then... Upon going to the under games, uh, finding Blueford there, he would can then give Blueford the stuff he got for the bear pelt. Oh, I mean, sure, if you want to, that's fine. But it's something I want to leave up to you. <clears throat> I, I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. I just. I don't really see exactly what I've given you a value to. Uh... Oh, everything okay over there? Did I make a lot of noise all of a sudden? Yeah, there was just sound like a glass tumbling or something. Oh, no, that wasn't me. Oh, okay. All right. Um... Yeah, uh, I just don't know what I've uh, done to really you know, deserve such generosity, but um, if, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> well, you're letting us come for the night, and you oh. didn't gut us on sight, so... Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I thought that's what the rations were for, but, uh, okay. You know, yeah, if we... Yeah, if we meet up, how about how about this? Uh, we meet up in neighborhood, you, you buy us all around. That sounds fair to me. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then we have a deal. He extends his hand for a handshake. He gives his hand the handshake and is careful with the claws. And this time, since he got the practice with Nova, he knows what to do. <laughs> He's trained for this. He's trained his whole life for this moment. All right. So, um, everybody gonna go sleepies or got other things to do? Yeah, everybody will want to keep watch, but yeah, they'll go to bed. Uh, like as a as an extra precaution, uh, Nova is going to take some time to ritual cast um, the alarm spell. Okay. Um, are you casting it on? It's like basically wherever wherever our group plans on sleeping, he plans on making that the epicenter. Okay. All right. Um, so what they and do? It'll be it'll be an it'll be an uh, an aud uh, an audible alarm. Okay. All right. They're, they'll um, I would say like around the fire um, is where you guys would be resting, and like they're resting in the tents. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So just uh, just shy, just shy of the tents, like you know, not directly in front of them, so that you know people wandering in and out don't trigger it. But uh, but like yeah, just just enough to be able to, because like Nova isn't a, still a hundred percent sure on these guys, but <laughs> okay, uh, uh, just to be safe. Could you ping on the map where you want to put the epicenter? I'll just go ahead. Like you said, it was around the campfire, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. About. Yeah, like maybe about here. Okay. 
Now, does it does it have a range? Does alarm have a range? Hey, blah, 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 blah. Um, I believe in this situation, it's a. Uh, actually, it might be just be good to. Yeah, pull up the spell card. Thirty feet, door, window, or an area within range that is no long larger than a twenty foot cube. Yeah, so I so I can I can dictate the size as long as it doesn't exceed a, a twenty foot cube. <laughs> okay. So how how big are we talking here? Because each of these squares is five feet. Uh. Well, I say that, but like the scaling of everything else, this is like the the encounter that I kind of just like threw together. So this is not we'll, to scale. We'll make it to maybe. We'll make it like a, a sort of like a ten foot cube that avoids the entrances of the of the tents. Okay, <clears throat> okay, but it's still covering like the general area around the campfire. Yeah, like the general area where we will be sleeping. Actually, we'll make it 15. Like that might not be enough space. Okay. And the and, only And only and the only people who will trigger the alarm will be anybody who is not a member of our party. Okay, so on, so only you four are safe then. Yes. Because again, he's he's not fully sold on these guys, but cuz he's been told to be careful, so he's being extra cautious. All right, uh, so everybody with that uh, is free to take a long rest, and it's uneventful. Yay. Yay. That is the best answer. <laughs> so, um, yeah, with that, I, I think we're at a good spot to end the game for the night. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um i hope all of you enjoyed uh watching this um as i mentioned earlier this is a pre-recorded version not you know a live game like we're used to uh, the next couple episodes are going to be pre-recorded like this um but i hope you have yourselves a lovely evening and uh thanks for watching bye, bye.